What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe to get daily updates on Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and we've been watching the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's getting pretty interesting. We're gonna take a look at that at the end of the video, so definitely stick around. And don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out, guys. It's totally free, and let's get on with it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, investment advice, none of that. There's a disclaimer scrolling down the bottom. Make sure you read it. And always remember, this is my opinion, not yours. All right, so before I begin, if you would, take a second out, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if, once you get through the video, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what your ideas are with what's going on in the market, both crypto market and <clears throat> traditional. It's getting pretty interesting. Um, I still believe traditional markets have a lot further down to go. Um, that's my opinion, and I'll show you why. Let's uh, look at the news headlines for Bitcoin just to get a feel for the sentiment. Bitcoin has gained 600 for three consecutive Mondays. Seems bullish. Bitcoin price will go up as only profitable miners remain. Bitcoin price rallies higher but must hit 8K to start a bull run. Bitcoin equities markets rally as a sign of hope. Um, first mover trillions in the disease that shall not be named stimulus. Uh, Peter Schiff goes furious rant against Bitcoin. I, if I don't believe he's that dumb guys, I really believe this guy's holding some Bitcoin. If he's not, he's just an idiot period. Anyways, let's, uh, let's look at the fear and greed index. We are at 20. I'm um, still in the extreme fear. We have risen eight points since yesterday. So getting a little bullish sentiment there. Guys, if you've been watching, you know I've been saying for the last few days, unless we close above 7,400, close at least a four hour above 7,400, I am still bearish. And a lot of people have been asking, have you switched bullish yet? I have not seen a four hour candle close above 7,400. Please, guys, pay attention to the whole video. If you're not going to watch the whole video, get out. Don't watch. There's a lot of info in these. Pay attention. I am sick of trolls and idiots that only hear what they want. If you paid attention, you would be expecting everything that's happening. So anyways, um, looking at the monthly, we are trying to break back out of this channel. Um, as you can see, we are above the 21 EMA on the monthly 7320 area. Again, that's really no concern on the monthly. We've got a lot to go on the month. We're going to go back into the smaller time frames first. I do want to remind you guys, this is a great way to help support the channel. It's my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. There is a link down below. Definitely check it out. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been, you know, ordering stuff. A lot of people have been asking for a lot of, uh, you know, personalized things or whatever. She can put anything you want on any of this stuff. There's also stuff that isn't listed Hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, keychains, socks, all kinds of stuff. Just hit her up in the contact on the web page. All right, on the weekly. Um, as you guys know, I still have this worst case scenario down here at the 2570-ish area, um, which would be this bottom trend line coming off of these lows in 2016. Um, just a possibility. I'm not saying it's going there. I'm just saying it could. Now, as you can see right now, we've gotten rejection at the 13 EMA, which is 7460 area. Um, so we talked about last week needing to, to get a nice run up and we did not get it. And we did cross the 21 below the 55, which is bearish to me. Um, let's look at the RSI. So the RSI that we've been watching, you guys that have been watching know this red support and resistance line. We're well above it now, um, but I do believe we're going to come back down and test it. Again, this is the weekly EMA. Um, let's go to the daily chart. All right, the targets are going to move around here a little bit now, and I'll explain why. And those of you that watch the channel already know why. Let me get this out of here. All right, so I had this trend line off of these two peaks here. Um, we did peak above it, 
But like I said, if we look when we go to the four hour, you'll notice I've been saying unless we close a four hour above 7400, I remain bearish. I am still bearish. Um, as of right now, as you can see, we could get a run up today. Um, the Dow is really interesting too, so definitely stick around. It's something we've been talking about on this channel. So let's look at this 55 EMA here is around the 7322. It seems to be holding as support. If that holds as support, yes, we could go up possibly to 7700. And the 200 EMA on the daily is at 8,050-ish area, um, which is also the golden retracement zone. So that is a possibility if this 55 EMA holds. But let's move this up here just a little bit. And I still believe this is a rising wedge. Let's take a look at the measured moves. So if we take a measured move from here, let's say we break down today. I don't think it'd be today. I think it'd be tomorrow. So let's do it. For tomorrow, um, that would get us to around, and let me double check this too, guys. I want to make sure I have this measurement right, and I do not. It does need to go down just a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's say we break down tomorrow. So that gets us down to right around here. Um, right around that double bottom there. Um, if we break down today, that would get us down to approximately right around, same thing, right around, we're just going to leave that there, 38.50. That would be a break of this if we broke it today. Tomorrow it would raise up 39. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 39 there. Um, then we also have a measured move if this breaks down. Um, and that was a flag pull looking at this as a bear flag. I'm still going to leave this low at the 2568 being this trend line down here. Um, we could, you know, we could obviously get a bounce here at the 3100 if we were to break lower than these. But again, guys, um, my, my main view I'm looking at here is this 5400. I do believe we come down to at least that if we break below here. Um, as you can see, right now as I'm making this video, we are getting support right on that 55 EMA. The smaller EMAs have all turned bullish here. I do think people are getting a little too bullish. Again, I could be dead wrong. You got people out there um, just eating this up, screaming moon, all kinds of crap. I don't see it happening yet, but we have talked about this being a inverse head and shoulders. I started talking about it way back here and just left this drawing on and... Check it out. It looks like it's happening, but I do believe we come back down to retest some lower lows. I don't believe we're going to continue up from here, in my opinion, guys. Let's do a measured move of this falling broadening wedge and look at it on the RSI. We could go all the way back up into this range. It is possible. Um, so if we continue up and break out of this wedge, let's look at the target for that. This wouldn't be the one. Um, but like I said, the 8050 is going to be huge resistance if we make it up there. And that's the golden retracement zone. We do have the 0.786 Vib at around the 9,070 range. Um, we'll see what happens. I, I'm still, like I said, unless we close a four hour, and we will go into the four hour now. And as you can see, we did not close a four hour above 7,400. And I've been talking about that for a couple days now. Um, and once we do that, then I'll get bullish. I don't see that happening. We have wicked above this top trend line here a few times. We are getting rejection. I'm going to go ahead and move this up now. Let's just put it right there. Um, as you can see, the EMAs on the four hours look super bullish here. Um, it definitely, you know, we definitely could continue up, but I, like I said, unless I see a close above 7,400 on a four hour candle, at least I am not bullish at all. All right. So as you can see, the eight EMA is here about the 7,250. Um, if we get support there and continue another bounce up, as you can see, I have this orange trend line here on the RSI off of these peaks. We could possibly come up and retest that guys um 
you know, back up in this range. That could be the 7,700. I guess it is possible. I'm not expecting that. As you can see, we have this rising channel that we've had in here forever. I put the top as the resistance. We had this crazy wick here. Um, I'm not counting that. Let's do a measured move of the break of this channel. Let's say we break it. Um, say we break it over here in this area the next day or two. Uh, the measured move off of that would be the 6270 range. Now, if we do get down into this area, I think we're most likely at least, again, I have not changed my mind about this 40 or 5400 here. I'm still thinking we come down to at least that area. Let's say this is the top, and let's just throw some fibs on here right now. Um, we're going to start it from the swing low right here. Let's put the fib on there to the swing high. And that would be, well, the golden pocket would be around the 51 to 5200. That could be where we're headed. And then this could end up being a wave one, guys, um, if we don't make a lower low. If we make a lower low, like I said, I still have these targets down here um, around 38 to 3,500. I do believe that would be a stop hunt from down here. But, guys, like I said, I'm still still going to remain bearish unless we close a four-hour above the 7,400 here. Um, but, yeah, looking at the RSI, we look like to be in a rising broadening wedge, and these usually break down. Let's look at Litecoin now. So Litecoin, we had this trend line here, which does look like we had a breakout. One more thing I want to point out in the daily on Bitcoin, sorry about that, is look at the volume here. It's still declining. We did not have any breakout volume to indicate a break of anything. That's why I moved that top line on the wedge. So just so you guys know, um, that's why I did it. Let's look at Litecoin and let's look at the daily real quick just to get the same. All right, so if we look at the daily, sorry if that's moving a little too quick for you, still declining volume. We have not had breakout volume for this. So that, for that reason, I am moving this up. And as you can see, we are getting rejected right at the 55 EMA on the daily of Litecoin. So I do believe we've most likely topped, guys. Um, again, I could be wrong. Always remember, do your own due diligence. But like I said, we're getting rejected there, which is also the 0 0.382 FIB retracement. Um, let's take some measured moves here. If we were to, this is going to be different than it was yesterday now that the trend lines have changed. Let's say we break down in the next next day or two. We're going to move this back up to double bottom range, right around the $24, $25 range. And then if we look at this as an bear flag, we can move this up a little bit, right around the $18 range. So that's the bearish case. Bullish case, if we break up and are able to break that 55 I would see us coming up to around the 200 EMA on the daily at 56.80. Highest I'd see us go is 65.80. We do have the 0.786 at 71.75. Um, again, as you guys know, the traditional markets play a big role in this. And I have been saying we were going to get some fake rallies. And that's just money grabs. There is absolutely no reason for the market to be going up when times are this crappy and i hope you're all doing well in the lockdown finding stuff to do keeping busy um but yeah we're gonna take a look at dow jones here in a minute but this is what i'm looking at right now guys i i do believe we're most likely going to continue to fall down out of this again if i'm wrong we do have the higher targets of 0.5 fib at 54.54 the golden pocket golden retracement zone between 61.80 and 64 and highest 0 0.786, 7175. But again, I'm remaining bearish here unless Bitcoin is able to break that 7400. Did we look at the RSI? I don't believe we did. Looking at the RSI, I've still got room to move up, but I do believe we are going to come back down first before continuing up here. And Ethereum, same thing. We've fell out of this. 
broke out of this falling channel. Let's just do a measured move real quick of that channel. Put it up to where we broke out and we have topped out to that measured move. So I do believe Ethereum is on its way back down too. Let's take a look at it. Same thing, we had the trend line here for Ethereum. I am going to move that up to this week here, which is right around the 200 EMA on the uh, daily. Are we on the daily? Yes. So let's do a measured move from this. First, we'll do this measured move here. If we were to break down in the next day or two, gets us right around. And these targets aren't exact, guys. Just showing us where we could head uh, around the 85 dollars to 86 dollar range which would be a double bottom if we look at this as a bear flag we could go as low as the 44 dollar range uh, a break up from this we have our 0.5 fib at 190 we have our golden retracement at 217 and that would be a break of one around 179.50 if we break that we're looking at the 190 if we break that 217 if we break that around the 250 range um but again i'm remaining bearish here uh, i do believe this is a rising wedge and that we're most likely going to break down again um there's really not been any breakout volume here um same as in litecoin and bitcoin there's really no indication of a real breakout. Yes, this was a nice move. Yes, this was a nice candle, but it's still declining. Um, now, the interesting part. We have talked about this channel. And you know what? Some guy yesterday, it's funny. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Also, I'll leave a Dudex tutorial up top if you guys are interested in trading. We're going to have a Dudex competition, and there is prizes. Make sure you sign up. There's also, you get a... Um, a bonus for signing up making a deposit there's other exchanges down there too um, all of them are good for different things so definitely check them out they all have bonuses if you use my links and uh, make a deposit then you get some extra on top of your deposit so check it out guys if you're interested in trading but let's talk about this rising channel here that we broke down out of that was the bottom of it at that time we had marked here around the 23 5 area as you can see we have come up today tested the top of that we are getting rejected um and i've been talking about this for quite some time the the measured move when we broke that um actually i had this a little bit off guys so let's fix that but the measured move from where we broke down there right about here actually so i have been talking about this for quite some time but i'm going to move it up a little bit so it's around, I know I've been saying 16.9, but it's around the 17, right around the 17.2. I do believe we're at least going to come down here. And the other measured move, guys, if we look at this as a resistance up top, the pink line as a support, and we have broken that. That gets me down to about the 9,200 range, guys. If that 17.2 doesn't hold... Um, yeah, I'm looking at the 9100 and as you can see, we are getting rejected trying to get back inside this channel. If we do get back in, um, we should have the 55 EMA, which is also right at the 0 0.382 fib, right at 2400, about 24, 24,100 points. And then if we came up all the way to the 200 EMA on the daily, it'd be 26.2. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to break back in this channel. I know a lot of people are, are getting super bullish, guys. But if you know anything about markets, this is a money grab. They're suckering people in to take more money. Look at what they've already done. Um, I don't know. That's my opinion. Do your own due diligence. But, guys, I think we're going to at least 17.2. And I honestly don't think that's going to hold. Um, I think the markets are in more trouble than people are talking about. So, that's my view of the markets, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Make sure you smash those likes and leave your comments, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. And everyone, be safe.